Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 5, quarter 3, week number 3. So we are now in quarter 3, week number 3 of our most essential learning. Our learning competency, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe and draw polygon with 5 or more sides and describe and compare properties of a polygon. Then also, you're going to describe and compare the properties of polygon, regular and irregular polygon. And visualize congruent polygon. So let's have some review first. You're going to identify the following plane figures. Arrange the letters from the correct word. So I am a three-sided polygon with all sides congruent. You have 10 seconds to rearrange or to identify the hidden word. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is equilateral triangle. Very good. Great by pupils. Next one is, I am a close plane figure with four line segment. Again, I am a close plane figure with four line segment. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is quadrilateral. And the next one is I am a quadrilateral with four equal sides. Again, this would be the jumbled words. You have 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. I am a quadrilateral with four equal sides. Time's up. The correct answer is square. Very good. Great by pupils. So, I hope you already ready. So, let's proceed to lesson number four. Polygons and its properties. So, when we say a polygon, it is a closed plane figure from formed by one by line segment that met only at their and point the line segments are the sides the end point where the segments met are vertices the angle forms by the adjacent sides are the angles of the polygon so this would be the example of a polygon okay so this would be a polygon and non-polygon so let's Define polygon are named according to the number of sides and angles. They have the number of sides is equal to the number of angles. Again, the number of sides is equal to the number of angles. So, the name of the polygon is triangle and it has three sides. So, again, the number of sides is equal to the number of angles. So, Triangle has a four uh, has a three si angles also three sides and three angles and we have four sides we have quadrilateral five pentagon six sides hexagon seven sides is heptagon again three triangle four quadrilateral five penta pentagon six hexagon hexa means six uh, seven means hepta heptagon and eight is octa means octagon eight sides eight angles nine nonagon ten is deca decagon eleven is andecagon and twelve is dodecagon again the number of sides is equal to the number of angles but 
if the polygon with n number of sides name the polygon is n gone for example if the polygon is 21 sides or 21 angles it would be named as 21 n gone okay so let's study the chart the number of sides the number of well, the name of the polygon the regular polygon and irregular polygon let's study so three sides means triangle this should be the regular polygon and this should be the irregular polygon what do you notice about regular and irregular polygon again so uh, for four sides we have quadrilateral this should be the regular polygon the figure this should be the irregular poly uh, polygon or pentagon this one and this one so what do you notice? So when we say a regular polygon is a polygon with all sides and angle equal. So all sides and angle are equal. So that would be a regular polygon like this one. So mark on the side shows that all the length are equal. And the mark on the side shows that the measure of all angles are equal and an irregular polygon is a polygon with unequal sides so unequal sides so this one is the same for this one this one is the same for this one so this would be a regular polygon okay so using circle so let's produce or let's draw a polygon so procedure or this would be the procedure this would be the drawing a five-sided polygon drawing an eight-sided polygon so the step is to draw a circle then step two mark equally space point on the circle then join these points by the segment to form a regular polygon so like this one then connect the uh, make a line segment or connect the point and there is the circle so make a regular pentagon this should be a pentagon because this would be a five-sided figure and then this would be a regular octagon okay so using geo board or graphic pa graphing paper so mark points on the geo board or the graphing paper like this one and then join the point by line segment to form the polygon okay like this one so to make a regular or irregular uh, polygon so it's your turn grade 5 pupils so let check if the box is a polygon is a regular polygon and cross if it's a regular polygon you have one minute your timer starts now Ten seconds. Five, six, four, three, two, one. Okay, time's up. Let's reveal the answer for number one. This would be okay. This would be a irregular polygon because this one is different to this one and this one to different. So they have different. Uh, measurement of the side and for number two is correct this should be 
oops number two is correct or not okay this should be incorrect this should be x because this one is different to this one this one is the same to this one but the side of this one is different so this should be cross this should be cross and this should be cross also and this one is check this should be cross so number four is the correct answer and let's proceed to lesson number five so lesson number five congruent polygon so congruent polygon are two polygons of the same size and shape their matching angles and sides are equal so to check if the two polygons are congruent you may flip rotate or side a polygon to see if it's fit exactly on top of the other polygon again you may flip rotate or slide a polygon so this one is the example of a congruent polygon so they are same size same shape and equal sides okay so let's as check if the pair of polygon are congruent for this one you may flip figure a horizontally to show if it's congruent so you may flip so it is exactly the same size and shape as a figure b so this would be congruent for this one you may rotate so you can rotate a figure as shown is fit exactly the the top of the figure b and for this one you can slide a figure a on a figure b to show that they are congruent so these are the process so let's have example number one we're going to write letter c capital letter c if the two polygons are congruent and nc if the two polygons are not congruent so for this one number one figure you have 10 seconds timer starts now right c and nc okay time's up grade five pupils the correct answer is letter c they are congruent because if you flip this one to this one they are congruent and for example number two so you have 10 seconds again our timer starts now time's up the correct answer is and c because they have the same shape but they are different in sizes if you slide up this one to this one they are not fit to each other so this one is a not congruent and for example number three you have 10 seconds again timer starts now okay time's up the correct answer is letter c so if you flip this one to this one they are the same sample number four timer starts now time's up the correct answer is nc for number five Let me type in your answer, grade by pupils. Okay, time's up. Correct like answer is C. Very good. If you slide up, they have 
the same size and figure. So for your home learning pass, grade 5 pupils, I hope you already know or you already how to identify, learn or how to identify if the two figures are congruent polygon. So identify or study the figure below, then list down five pairs of congruent polygon. So list down, number one, you have identified is it letter A or A and B are congruent. So write A, this will be B. So that's for your home learning task. So that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.